Okay. We finally got him. What do we have? The mercenary is a high skill melee survivor that uses many dodges to weave in and out of combat. Air whir whirlwinds, whirlwinds air variation can be used like an extra jump in a pinch. Get repeated resets on blinding assault. Oh, getting repeated resets on blinding assault is key to increasing both survivability and damage output. However, if you do not always need to try resets, it may result in your death. Oh, you do not need to try resets. Okay. Remember that Eviscerate is an extremely powerful defensive tool to dodge telegraphed attacks. Laser Sword deals a ton of damage in a wide area, which is unique for a basic attack. Cybernetic Enhancements can jump twice. I'm on board. Laser Sword, Slice, Front for 130% damage. Every third hit hits in a great area for 300%. Nice. Whirlwind, Slice Horizontally twice. 2x, 400% damage. If Airborne, Slice Vertically instead. Finding Assault, Dash Forward, Stunning Enemies. Nice. Dash again. Oh, yep. Blinding Assault, I think, was in the original game, too. And Eviscerate. Target the nearest enemy, attacking them for 110% damage repeatedly. You cannot be hit for the duration. Yeah. This is basically the mercenary in the original game. I am on board. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, so double jump. Okay, that's the big hit. That's the whirlwind. And then that's the vertical. So, actually, wait. So, one, two. I'd see you, Caffeine. I will definitely uh, respond to your Discord DM uh, when I'm done with stream. Oof! Nice! Alright, it would help if I, you know, got something. Nice! Ooh! Okay, this is weird, but, you know, melee characters... Nice. Melee characters are usually pretty weird in Risk of Rain, to be perfectly frank. just like left trigger right trigger left trigger oof okay afraid of trying to combat why not I'm trying I'm trying to get used to like what's what with this character. It's very different from the others. I'm also not at all surprised by that. Bobble. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, fruit? That's gonna be really good for learning a class. Uh, teleporter's down there. So left is my sort of dodge forward dashing skill, which makes sense. 
Oh, is no one following me? Come on, friends. I just need, like, two more kills. <laughs> There's a bunch of people over there. Ah, here we go. It's that third slice. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Well, let's let's start this fight. I'm real curious to see how this is going to go. We're probably going to die. Also, I have no idea how I'm going to deal with wandering vagrants. Okay, stone titan. This this we can this we can do. Yeah, I also need to remember that uh It's if I hit something, that's when it resets. Okay, that makes sense. Just cut them up. <laughs> that's fair. I got greedy. It's interesting, though. It, it definitely feels like mercenary uh in risk of rain one where you're doing all this super high risk high reward stuff Ooh, okay so that's good for getting rid of aerial targets as well I hadn't thought of that before. Lots of mobility, too. And we've got... Gasoline, healing, and a crowbar. Probably gonna want the healing. Let's grab the Shrine of Combat. Why not? Oh no! <laughs> that didn't take long. Wow, I really need to to get used to the cycles, the the, the timing on all this evasion. Because you can definitely, you definitely have enough to get right up into the thick of it. Goat hoof, healing, sticky bomb. There's some dudes around this rock. Okay, so you actually have to hit... within pretty close succession in order to get those to go off. Uh, grab the healing. Gate is closed. Armor piercing rounds. Ooh, lots of items around here. So let's fight here for a little bit. Let's have a bit of a scrap. piercing rounds.
really need to work on my positioning, it seems. Oh, come on. Just a little bit more. Uh, another magazine, that's good. Yeah, let's get that magazine. Oh, that's not good. I think the Merc's primary pack should be a teleport. Would feel a lot cooler, warp from enemy to enemy. That's kind of what the Eviscerate is. Also, wow, there's so much stuff down here, but I'm already wasting a lot of time. Okay, so I can use the Eviscerate for high movement, too. Because as is, he feels squishy and harmless. I don't know, I still have a lot to do with the Merc. They definitely move very, very fast. <laughs> So I think part of the Merc's gimmick is just closing distance really fast. They're also invulnerable during a lot of their abilities. They're not invulnerable, invulnerable during their base attack, but they're invulnerable during a lot of it. Also, I need to remember to save my second jump for when I'm about to land. Also, where the heck is this teleporter? Is this open and I just didn't realize it? It is. Okay, it's probably in here. Any items? Nope. Alright, Stone Titan, take two. Wait. Get there. That's okay. There we go. I think I'm starting to get my groove. Oh, right. I can totally dig this. Ooh, can I? Oh, wait, I'm not an engineer. I can't get the switches. Okay. I got really excited for a second there, and then I remembered I'm no longer an engineer. You can push vases here. Can you?
Oof. Ooh, wow, ukulele with that jump feels really strong. Ooh, you sight him. Let's grab that. Hey, there we go. There's your ranged attack. Is it like on my shoulder? Nice. Okay, so that's how they solve the back-and-forth movement, is there's way more of a delay than there was before. Before, you just had to, like, mash it and then hope it all worked out. But now... Now, I don't have to worry about that at all. And I can hit aerial targets! <laughs> Got him! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> there was a big chest that I wanted. And that's why I was kind of farming a bit. Ah, 103, so close. Get the thing! Ow, 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 ow! What the heck? Chance to hook all nearby enemies. That's... terrifying and new. Not doing a great job cleaning all these things up. That's one of the bands. Ooh, both of the bands. I guess I'll start the teleporter. More hooks you get, the more of them you have sticking from you. Oh, weird. I like it, though. Where is she? Got her! Oh, this is great with the Merc! Pull everyone in close. Definitely, definitely takes a lot of concentration to play this class. At least right now. 
I'm still, you know, trying to figure it out, get my rhythm together. Engineer gets them. Even his turrets have hooks. Ooh. Man, Engineer. Follow me on this one. Engineer with turrets, with hooks, and Tesla coil. Yes, please. Let's see, where is... It's actually probably really close. It is, it is as obscene as it sounds. Good. Love it. So nice. Let's get soldier syringe. I'm curious to see uh that feels better. I love the Tesla coil with that, too. Armor piercing rounds, nice. Let's, let's just keep booking it. I think I've unlocked the Tesla coil on this, in this game, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to use it yet. Oh, and it blew up all, it all blew up behind me, nice. Get wrecked. As my health slowly get pick, gets picked off by wisps. Push Combat Shrine would drop an item on completion. Yeah, that's what they did in the first game. I'm kind of surprised that they don't in this game. Okay, key. Is that a chest? No. I will probably just play this shrine out and then activate the teleporter though. Man, I don't know what the chances of those bands appearing, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of them now. Bad. 
Hey, we got him. Ooh, wow. And took a ton of damage from something, but that's okay. And we got rockets. Nice. Nice. Wow, we might actually... You'd be happy if Shrine of the Mountain was more common? I could see that. Let's go. Oh man, if we do a loop with our, what, second, third run with a mercenary, that'd be awesome. Though those first couple of runs barely counted. Because I was still learning the ropes with this class. It feels so much like the... the mercenary in the first game, though. Just like, how do you play Mark again? Oh yeah, now I remember. Plus, getting a magazine is incredible. Yeah, I feel like I want to do my basic attack as little as possible. It's all about chaining my other attacks, because their cooldowns are so short. Oh, I missed the imp. Let's see, chest. Key. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, artifacts. I'm really looking forward to artifacts as well. Let's see another item over here. I think I'm gonna. S Ooh, scythe. Oh, look at that. Did you all see that? That was nuts. Oh shoot, I thought it was gonna be close enough. hurt. Okay, need to be a little more careful with the Imp Overlord. I don't think I have anything I want to trade for a stun. Where's the ring? Where's the ring? We're so close. Hope they make elites drop items. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. 
Oh, lucky. Okay, we got the 99. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, it's out of range anyway. Oof. Got him. Now let's pick up some stuff and get out of here. Thought I saw a ton of items. Maybe it was all on the other side. Yeah, there was a way to make elites drop items in the first game. I think it was the... The... Uh, 52 leaf clover or something like that. Nice. Get you. Get you. Hopefully, I still have enough for that big chest. Fantastic. Plenty of money. Test the coil! Oh, this is so good. Nikola Tesla. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, and an infusion. Oh, we're gonna... We're gonna heck him up. We're gonna heck him up real bad. Yeah, I love... I love this class already. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's my favorite but aggressive defense like this is one of my favorite things to play in just like any game. Wait, my on-hit stuff can proc from Tesla Coil? Oh, that's really strong. That's honestly kind of ridiculous. strong old war stealth kits I like how my Tesla coil is basically in early warning system med kits only drawback it's on a 10 out of 10 timer what do you mean a 10 out of 10 timer? Nice, Will-O-Wisp. Oh, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Gotcha. Oh, 
Ah, and that's what that means. That means it can uh, turn on soon. Okay. Get wrecked. I'm gonna grab this item, because I don't know what we're gonna be fighting here. And what do we have? Stun, Monster Tooth. Sure, I'll take a Monster Tooth. It's our first one, so why not? Hey, Lunar Coin! With ARG missiles? Oh, yeah! Because missiles are an on... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Got one! This timing feels very similar to the first game. Also, holy moly, this class is so strong. Hey, leave my turret alone. Between that and sentient hook, 10% chance of all enemies being in, the, in range. Yeah, good point. I wasn't even thinking about the hook. And now things are just, like, exploding on death. Was over here. Turret. Another drone. Healing drone's nice. Let's go. If we actually obliterate on the obelisk with the merc it's like oh man it's so good <laughs> got him Some chests over here. 303, got it. That's our magic number. Oh, hey! I do not know how I'm gonna deal with you. So I'm gonna choose to not deal with you. I think fire character unlocked should require you to solo every other character to the obelisk. Oh, you mean like the final, final character unlock? The like one that's not released yet? Nothing up here. That's okay. I think I can just straight up get out of here. Yep. Oh, so much distance. Yeah, the final, final one. Okay. Sacrificing everyone into the void. I, I can dig that. There's probably going to be an actual stopping point, too. 
which I'm curious to see how that actual stopping point relates to the obelisk. Even, like, or if it even will relate to the obelisk. Let's just trigger this. Why not? Oh, so many things over there. Oh, well. Beetle Queen, where is she? That's one down. Where's the other one? Oh, she spawned up there. Got her! Oh, I'm having so much fun with this. The real question is, do I obliterate the uh, Merc on the Obelisk, or do I just go as far as I can with this? Because I'm kind of tempted to just go. Oh, is this going to be a third jump? Oh boy. Yeah, this is a super good build. I think I'm going to try to take this as far as I can. Ooh, more gasoline. Nice. That's going to chain all sorts of kills. More gasoline. Nice. That's going to chain all sorts of kills. And Red Whip. This is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. <laughs> oh, I haven't spawned up here in a while. I do not want to deal with that clay pot that I can hear all the way over there. This is so much fun. Nice. Definitely not going to take that fruit, though. Ooh, another magazine. How much does it cost? 419? Sure. I'll grab that, which I now suddenly have. See the teleporter over there. Oof. Okay, getting a little greedy there. Gotta still be kind of careful. Ooh, a second will to wisp. Nice. I don't know, I'm torn. Killing... Killing the... Mercenary on the obelisk... Feels like the appropriate thing to do. Oof. Assuming I can get there. Ow! 
Yeah, burning is so strong. Or blazing. That was kind of ridiculous. They almost died, at least. Okay, looks like we got them. Yeah, I hope all of the original artifacts return. Just get wrecked. Alright, time for the moment of truth. Yeah, our artifacts were originally after release in the first game. Um, let's see. I'm super powerful. Let's... I'm torn. I'm so torn. You know what? Let's just add mercenary to the list of classes that we've obliterated on the obelisk. And make it a goal to obliterate all classes on all obelisks. Or on their obelisks. Just turns into a welcome home thing, yeah. And boom! Are you sure? Yes. That was a super sick run. That was a super sick run.